What's going on, y'all? You know what time it is. It's Wednesday. It's 10 a.m. We're gonna go to 11 a.m. And and I think this show, Joe, this is a this is kind of a special show. I think you know we we got a special guest on today. It's one of our both of our former teammates. Um, You know, one of the I guess one of the um, most talented. I mean, for real. If you look back at you know his high school career and all the way through college, like. When I say talent, I mean, the dude could have played in the NBA. The dude could have played in the NFL. I mean, it, it's just he was one of those generational talents. Specimen, specimen physical specimen, uh, one of the biggest hearts, I mean, that you'll ever come across, man, this this guy. And, and he's doing it right now, you know, with the kids. Uh, he, he's doing great things in the kids out of New York City and Connecticut uh, in, in surrounding areas. So before we bring our guy on, we got to make sure that we shout out Flintstone uh, Cannabis Company for holding us down and and sponsoring us, sponsoring the show. We won't get into all, you know, what we usually get into, but you know, it's right down the way. And and when I say down the way, I'm talking about on Walton street, right down the street from galaxy, go in there and get you, you know, (laughs) whatever you need to do, man, do what you do, what you got to do, but shout out to uh, Mike Flynn and Flintstone, man. This, this, this episode here been highly anticipated, much appreciated. You know what I mean? So we, 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 I'm excited for this one. Some great stock. I already know it's going to be some great storytelling, some, some great, some great, some great conversation. And most important, it's going to be real. So I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's, it's going to be real. And, uh, and, and again, man, he's doing great things in the community. He's doing great thing, uh, great things in the youth basketball scene. Uh, and, and I think he has some of the best energy uh, around, man. Just, just overall, a, a great dude. Hales from Niagara Falls, New York. So let's bring in our guy and our former that teammate, boy, Paul Harris. Paul, oh, my guy. <laughs> hey, hey. What's up, hey, P, man? What's up, man? I'm glad to be on, man. I'm glad to be on, man. Hey, P, I think, is this our, is this our <laughs> second time <laughs> having you on the show? Is it, did we have him on before, Joe, I think? Uh, A while ago. Or was it my, it was the podcast, no, no, no. huh, P? No, it was uh, I did something with JoJo back when it was COVID. Yeah, back and he was in, doing yeah, Instagram live. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, and then we but did I'm do the podcast, OP. We did do the podcast. Yeah, I, you you oh, did the podcast with me. E, yes, I did it with you. E, yeah, yeah, I did it with you. E, yep, I did. You right? E, yes, I did do it. With you. You right? But we find we finally got you on the uh, on the Devo and Chris Joe show. And, and uh, before you got on P, I, I was just telling them that. Uh, you were the one of the most, I mean, talented dudes that that I ever seen. You know, going from you know high school all the way to college professionally. I mean, you, you, you could have played in the NBA, could have played in the NFL. Like, I mean, that's what type of dude you were, and and, and, and how talented you were. And now you're doing a lot uh, with the youth uh, in the community with, with basketball and and uh, you know a lot of charitable things. So. Um, you know, I want to shout you out, man, for, for everything that you're doing and uh, you impacting these young kids. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know <laughs> if people really know, you know, how big of a deal that is, man, because I, especially nowadays, th- the kids need it, man. They, they need a positive role model. They need uh, positive influences and people to look up to it and, and steer them in the right direction. And um, you're, you're doing it at a high, high level piece. So kind of just, uh, I guess, update everyone on, on what's been going on in your life, what you've been doing. I know we gave, you know, a, a gist of uh, a little bit of what you're doing, but, you know, just kind of give us a rundown, bro, and, and, and what's really been happening with you. No, I appreciate I appreciate that those words from both of uh, both of my man Chris Joe and E. But before we start, man, I want to tell you guys, like I see what you're doing, E, man. You're doing a lot back in Syracuse, man. I'm talking about from from Thanksgiving, giving away turkeys, giving away clothes, the camps. Man, if anybody is Syracuse, you Syracuse, E. I just want to let you know that. And I mean it from the heart. I've been following you and I want to give you your flowers and your love too. And JoJo, man, I see what you're doing coaching, man. You got the suits on, man, looking fresh, man. You look you looking like Murph, yo. You looking like Murph, JoJo. <laughs> nah, man, I'm, I'm proud of both of y'all too, man. I am. I'm proud of both of you guys, man. Appreciate and, uh, you, bro. For me, for me, I, I told you, E, and JoJo, I was going to do this today, man. And uh, I'm actually out of town in New York. That's why I'm in the car. I'm in Lowe's parking lot 
by LA Fitness. I had to get it in. I had to get my workout in, and I ran and got some some AirPods, and I'm on the show now, man. I'm on the show. But uh, yeah, man. I'm just uh right now. Uh, last last year, I was I was assistant coach at uh University of Hartford. That was I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing that. And this year, I'm just with my son's AAU team and uh just traveling, just just showing the kids, you know, not about just about working out and getting extra shots, but the nutrition is part of it. The recovery, what people don't really get a chance to see. They wonder how LeBron James is playing 21 years at this higher level. Nah, man, he's not just working out. He's eating right. He's drinking right. He's getting a proper rest. You know what I'm saying? He's what he put in his body. That's what how he's able to do all that. So I'm giving that to these kids, man, at an early age. And even if they don't get it now, but if they take a little bit right now at 10 and a little bit at 12, by the time they get 16, they'll be head of the game. It took me until I was 24. So I'm yo. just doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Yo, P, real quick. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, when you look back, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, high school, your basketball career, Syracuse professionally, and now where you at right now, would you ever have thought this is what you will be doing? Like th- this is, you know, talking about uh, giving back to the kids, you know, talking about nutrition, talking about just being that positive influence that you are. D- did you ever see yourself, you know, doing this and, and being in this position right now? Well, to be honest with you, e, even when, even when I was young, man, like at, at, at Cuse, like with Jojo, man, I would wake Jojo up in the middle of the night, go work out, you know, we get extra shots up at Manly. So I've been, I've been kind of doing this type of stuff for a long time, man. If you really think about it, think about the times, E, like, you a gym rat, E. They don't know about, they got the Mellow Center now. We had Manly, and the lights would go off at a certain time, but we'll lift the gate up, bring the trucks in there, and have the lights on, <laughs> on the court, and be getting up shots, yo. Like, some people just, you know what I'm saying, they, they love it, man. They love the process, man. And, and we we those type of guys. Yeah, yeah without, no without a question, bro. No question, bro. So, I mean, for me, I just want to, obviously, we know your story. But first of all, shout out, shout out to our listeners, too. First time, last time. We've been, we had a great following on this on this show, so shout out to them. But I'm sure there, I, I, if the chat was going, if the chat is going right now, check the chat. I'm sure they got a thousand questions. I'm sure they're excited. But <laughs> kind of just bring us back to the start, Niagara Falls High School, and and how you came to become a Syracuse Orangeman at the time, Orangeman today, Syracuse Orange. Yeah, man, it's, it's uh, I had I had a a different a different upbringing. Uh, a, a different life, a different path. Uh, I remember when I was uh, I was seven years, ten years old, and I remember I was I was I was skipping school. I was ten years old skipping school, and uh, a YMCA van come come pulling up, and it was my uncle. He worked at the Y, and a guy at the time named Sal Constantino. My uncle yelled at the, out the van, "What are you doing, boy?" And then he got me in the van, my uncle Dexter, and they took me to the YMCA called my parents, and then Sal, he gave me a membership to the Y, not knowing that membership would actually save my life. So now, whenever it's snow days, uh, summertime, I'm staying at the Y. I'm in the Y, working out, working out, working out, playing. Not even knowing what I'm doing, going swimming, lifting weights, not knowing that I'm just doing a lot of extra work. And then seventh grade come, I end up getting moved up to varsity. I'm the only player in Niagara Falls sister to ever play varsity in seventh grade. And I remember scoring. And so now it's all of this hype, me going into the eighth grade. Uh, this this kid, you, you got to see him. You got to see him. Eighth grade come, I'm ineligible. Couldn't play. So I missed one year. Ninth, ninth grade come, I'm ineligible again. So I go from the seventh grade, uh, promising player, miss eighth grade, ninth grade. 10th grade, I'm getting it together. I'm getting my act together. Next thing you know, can't play again. So three years straight, I don't play. No high school basketball, never touch a high school court. And I remember my father, he kept me the whole summer. He kept me the whole summer. Anywhere I went, to the store, anywhere, he went with me. I couldn't play ball. 
I didn't play for like three, four months. And I remember my AAU, turn, my AAU coach, Jeff Bishop, he said, he asked my dad, hey, yo, can you play in this tournament? My dad said, no. A whole nother month go by. He asked my dad again. My dad said, only how he can play is if I come. So my dad come with me. We go to this tournament. I haven't touched the ball, got no shots up in like four or five months. We go to this tournament in Pennsylvania. Go to this tournament. I go crazy. I kill E. Some Glass guy City comes out of the stand. Uh, Glass, Glass City Baller. Glass City Ballers. Oh yeah, GC no, Ballers. I don't remember. Oh, GC Ballers was the AU team. Yeah, GC Ballers. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm yeah. saying I don't know who is playing. Okay, yeah, GC Ballers. Yeah. <laughs> so we're playing, and a guy comes out of the stands. He's like you shouldn't be here. So I'm thinking he just one of these parents that always told me I need my birth certificate. I'm too old because I was the same size as I am now when I was when I was 15. Six four two fifteen. So I'm looking at him like, what? He said, no, nah, man, you shouldn't be here. He got on the phone and he called Curtis Malone, a guy, the founder of DC. Shout Assault. out Curtis Malone. He got on the, shout out Curtis Malone. He called him. He said, yo, I have a kid here. He's like Magic Johnson. Curtis never seen me. He don't know me, never heard of me. Flew me and my AAU coach out. The next day, we go down to DC. He didn't even have me playing with Nolan Smith and Mike Beasy. I didn't play with my age. He said, I want you to play up. We play Big Baby. Now, if you know Big Baby in high school, he was big in the pros, but in high school, he was like 300 or something. Wow. Yeah. Fast. So yep. I was checking I was checking Big Baby. I played good D. After that game, he sent me to ABCD. Y'all know. And you know ABCD. I was best there. I remember camp. seeing you. I yeah. was there. Best basketball camp ever. So I go to ABC. I don't know nobody. I'm looking around. I remember the elevator. Come on, hold on. Let me freeze you one time, Paul. Let me let me freeze one time. Is this okay. is this is all happening in the span of how how much time? This is this is happening quick at this point. Yeah. All this is bam okay. like that. Okay. Bam. I go to AU tournament. He fly me out. Uh, camp is like in a couple more weeks. So he fly me out. Then boom. He said I'm gonna let you go to camp. Boom. Then I go to ABC just like that. Off of one tournament. <laughs> one tournament. That's why I always tell kids, you never know who's watching. I, I don't care. You, you play every game like it's your last. P, top 200, I mean, that's, a top 200, that's the top 200 players in the country, regardless of class. I, I'm just going to tell you all that, that real quick. It ain't just like top freshman. Top, that's the whole, all top 200 players in the whole country, regardless of class. So go, my fault, P. I just had to get that out there. So this the year, I remember the, eleva the elevator open. I'm going, I'm going to the elevator. It was Josh Smith, K.R. Smith, Sebastian, <laughs> Dwight Howard, yeah, yeah, Marcus Nelson, and one elevator. So I'm looking, I'm like, yo, these are the guys that be on the magazine. Next thing you know, I end up playing against J.R. Smith, a couple other guys, have a good ABCD camp. I come back, a couple weeks later, the magazines come out, my dad, we had tops. We had tops, and my dad looked through the magazine. I was 14th in the country. And my dad, like, he's screaming. You know, you know my dad. You know how my dad is screaming. It's my son. It's my son. And he bought every magazine in the store. And then after that, man, just, <laughs> I got my I got my act together, man. I, I just got on the right path, man. And I, and I got my act together. And I just took off after that. Just took off. He, Yo, P, real yeah, quick, man, bro. Because, so. you know what? Because I... I you know, I seen you like early on, bro. I, I don't know if you remember, but I, I, I mean, I ran into you early because you know I was playing for the Hurricanes, for the Michigan Hurricanes, and you know, you, you, you know, Greer, like you, like our connections is like, yeah, we know a lot of people, bro. That, so early on, I, when I say I said Glass City Baller, GC Ballers, bro, that, I remember playing against you, dog. Like so, like this is the first, and we we seen him. I see, and, and, and again, like, so we're, you know, we're like, Joe, we're uh, Adidas, like Hurricanes big time. Like, like that AAU yeah, program was big yeah. time. And like GC Ballers, Straight. like, I think, I think they were Adidas too, but they weren't on the level at that Hurricanes at that time. You know what I'm saying? But, Not at but all. I, yo, dog, I remember seeing this motherfucker P, yo, and, and I'm looking at this motherfucker. I say, yo, just like a motherfucker <laughs> said, yo, yo, just like a motherfucker <laughs> said, yo, you don't belong here, P. That motherfucker P looked like the starting <laughs> tight end, bro. 
I'm telling you, like he was like I never seen the motherfucker that big, but then handling the ball. So so and P, I don't know if you remember or not, but I, I'm guarding this motherfucker, bro. I'm guarding this motherfucker, P. Like, it, it was in man, dog, he hit you with the left to right or the right to left. What do you do? Man, bro, when when I say hit me with a left to right, yo, a right to left, one of the two. So look, it was I think it was in Cleveland. It might have been Cleveland. Yeah, I don't it was know, in bro. Cleveland. Y'all beat us though. E. Y'all beat us. It was in Cleveland. E. <laughs> but bro, when I when I was I was playing D and I remember that the cross was like this. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. yo, bro, because you had that. If he had that that crazy man, bro. I tell you, when I got left over there, so cold uh, on that cross, <laughs> and, and then and then and look, and then from that point on, I'm looking because you know I'm looking him up. I'm like, who the fuck? Yeah, I mean this this motherfucker is nice, bro. And then, like you said, P, the first the first ABCD camp was it, it was like a a dark blue and orange shoe, shoes. I don't know if you remember yeah. the shoes we got, yeah. but like dark. Yes. But like he was saying, yes, it was yeah. that year was the last year that everyone could leave out of high school. So all the people that you yes. named, bro, it was like nine motherfuckers there that left and went out of high school at, at that camp. Yeah. And and then P, and then I know you went the following year when they had like the, it was the, uh, like bright blue, it went blue and red. And that was with like uh, OJ Mayo, Bill Walker, uh, Derek yeah, Character. Yeah. So, so I remember you at both of those camps, bro. And then, and then I remember like, you know, just hearing like you go in the queue. So I'm like, Oh shit. But like, bro, I, I remember you from young, bro. We had to be like 14. Yeah, 14, like, when I, when 14 I seen, 15. Yeah. I remember 14, that. 15, that was yeah. in Cleveland. That was in Cleveland. In, that yeah. dog. In that Cleveland, left to right, bro. that right to left. You know how we say when we're, <laughs> we're trying to tell kids, listen, you got to put, you got to move your body with the ball. It got to be in sync. Paul. Embodied that with that left to right or that right? Man, What's it listen, called? The right dog. to left or the left to right? Let me get it right. I know it's the right to left. It was right to left. It was right no. to left. It was, it was between. Oh, no, it was between. It was left to right. Uh, you go between. Yeah, I got. I got to get back to my right. Eh? I got to get back okay. to the right here. I got to yep. get back to the strong hand. Eh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. get back to the. Yep. I, hey, e, I ain't got both of those hands like you. E. You shoot with the left <laughs> hand and the right. I got to get back to the strong one, e, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, that shit was so cold, dog. That shit was so cold. Yeah. And, and then, Joe, look, this. And, and then, so besides that, we because we run into each other early, me and P, early, like the, on the AU circuit and then the ABCD camp. And then, motherfucker, we run into each other at Oak Hill. Uh, we didn't play against them, but it, we were in the same tournament. And I think it was Jersey. In Jersey. In Jersey. In Jersey. Yeah. So, bro, so, so they, I think y'all played a team from St. Louis. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yep. And and we played at the time we played uh Derek Character and them. And we beat him by like forty five, though. We beat him by like forty five. Y'all blew him out. And, and they said like y'all game was on ESPN and they said ESPN came a day too early because we had a our game was a great game and y'all just y'all smashed them. But y'all had a squad though. Y'all had y'all really had a squad though. Y'all had a y'all had a good team though. For real. But yeah, we and we you know what's funny about squad. that E? You know what's funny about that game? We we lost that game to that number one team in the country, right? In OT, right? So in overtime. So yes. at the end of the at the end of the year, it just came out like three like maybe two, three years ago. That team had three dudes was that were in college, E. You lying. <laughs> I swear yo, Joe, it's a they did a big old story on it. It's a crazy story. Wow. They took all their state tip. They took all their state championship backs, all they wins. So my my high school coach, he called me like three years ago. He said, "Paul, uh, we just got some news. They can they can." He just he gave me the rundown on what they had three guys in college. They can change our banner to from twenty nine and one to thirty and zero because they want to give us they give all those wins back. He's like, yeah. "Paul, you're the captain. What do you want to do?" I'm like, "Coach, come on, man." They beat us. I don't care if they had LeBron. I don't, I don't care what it was. <laughs> they beat us, man. I, like whatever, man. You better keep that the same. They got that win. G give it to them. I ain't. I ain't about to do that, man. But yeah, yeah that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's man. real. So you do you you do these camps A B C D. You, you're killing on the, the the AAU circuit, and of course, at some point, you know, a decision has to be made on where you want to pursue your your, your collegiate, you know, your your amateur you know, career, right? So you either got it. I'm sure you had your pick in the litter. You know what I mean? What ends up that Syracuse is the place for you to be? I know it's upstate. I know you're used to the weather, so that's not an issue. 
But what is it that made it be Syracuse over everybody else? <laughs> well, let me, I'm going to back it up a little bit for you, JoJo. So after that ABCD camp, right, after that, you know, I was like 14th in the country. And now we would have beat us. So now we would have beat us. And now Adidas was trying to make me the poster child. So next summer, I go to Adidas camp. So I go to Adidas camp. Okay, yeah. And I kill it. I kill Adidas, but Adidas is not ABCD. Because because nobody has Sonny Vakal. Sonny Vakal is the guy. By, he's the one, if you yes. really know. So yep. now I come back. I'm 25 in the country. Roy Adidas, I'm not the one that really cares about individual races, but I'm like, I'm like, yo, what happened? What's going on? That don't so make now, sense. Okay, it don't. So now the summer comes around again, and now I'm just they like Sonny Vakal hit me. He like, yo, you get to bring somebody next year if you come. So I'm thinking to myself, we had a guy named Robert Garrison on my high school team. He ended up going to UConn and transferring to Nag University. And then there was a guy named Rodney Pierce that went to University of Buffalo. And then you had a young Johnny Flynn. So now everybody telling me I should be taking Robert or uh, Rodney. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, man, it, Johnny, it, it's something about him. Yo, he had hand, his hands as big as mine. His feet was big as mine. I'm like, yo, he is <laughs> competitive. I'm like, yo, y'all don't see it right now, but yo, he different. So I'm like, yo, I'm taking him. They're like, no, he young, man. Take the. I'm like, no, I'm taking Johnny. But so when I sat down at Johnny Flynn house, his, his mother and father, I'm like, yo, this is a great opportunity for him. And now they said, okay. So Johnny leaves. When it's time to start camp, he leaves, he go to ABCD. Everybody on my AAU team go to Adidas. I'm in Niagara Falls because I'm debating, what do I do? Do I go to ABCD where it's all the best players in the country? Because Sonny McCall said, if you come here, you get to play against the best player in the country at the time with the most hype, OJ Mel, and we're going to put it on the big, on the mainstream big court in front of everybody. So I'm debating. My AU coach come to my house. Yo, P, man, they're going to take our sponsorship from us, Adidas. If you don't show up, it doesn't make sense. I miss one day. I'm debating. I miss two days. The third day, he come to my house. I'm like, yo, Jay, man, I love you. I love our AU team. I did everything I can. I'm going to ABCD, man. So I don't show up at Adidas. I come to, AB, I come to ABCD three days late. No, I remember all this. I get there. I get there. I'm getting ready. I'm getting my feeling. I have an okay game. Second game, I'm here. Now I'm ready. Third game, in the middle of the main court, all the NBA scouts, all the college coaches, all the players, me versus OJ Man. I remember ripping him at half court. Now, shout out OJ Mel because he ain't no heat night. For real. He, He really... Really yeah, he was, he was, his game was, was mature, man. His game was polished. Yeah, yeah. he was polished. Bad. It was really Bad. polished. I remember ripping him at half court, and he went one for ten. He went one for ten the first time ever in his life. And as soon as the game ended, I get a call from my AU coach and my AU team. Like, yo, Doug, everybody down here talking about it. Yo, everybody talking. Yo, you locked OG. You said you was going to do it. Everything changed after that, E. I remember Sonny McCall. He brought me in his office. He brought me upstairs. And he sat me down at one end of the table. He was at the other. I never really told this story that much. And he said, listen, the NBA scouts are saying you're you're physically ready. You can be a player that go from high school to out of the league. But remember, they stopped it. They stopped that. But I was going to be one year removed from high school because I was going to prep. So Brandon Jennings ended up being the first person. Brandon Jennings was the first person to do it when he went overseas and then went. I was going to exactly. be the first person, but I told him, I'm like, yo, Sonny, man, I always want to go to Q's, man. I'm going to the Q's, man. So I, ain't even, I didn't even really give it no thought going out of high school to the league. I just went straight straight to the Q's. But how, but, 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 but going back, yeah, yeah, but yeah, get, get into like how that happened, though, because it was, it, I know it wasn't just Q's, it was mad other motherfuckers in there, too, but like how, yeah, speak on Hop, because that's what it was. Hop, Hop sealed the deal. That motherfucker's crazy. Talk about his crazy ass. <laughs> it was hot, yo. You're right. You're right. It was hot. I mean, you got the Hall of Famer too, but I mean, during the recruiting process, it was 
I never took a visit to no other school, E. You know how you just get five visits? I didn't I didn't even just I could have just easily been like, yo, let's just go get a free vacation down in Florida uh, or Miami, act like I'm going there. Just to get, I didn't even do that. I didn't take no yeah. visit because I didn't want nobody to try to I didn't want no temptation to see something and then I end up somebody coerced you to go somewhere else. Yep. Yeah, I didn't want none of that. So I never took a visit and hop. He was at every, when I say every AAU game, he was everywhere. I would do a move that between the legs cross, I was in New Jersey. Boom, my head did it dunk, and he was on the floor. Oh, that's my guy. You see him? That's my guy. <laughs> he on the floor. Oh, he's, com- he's coming to Syracuse. That's my guy. So it was just like seeing all of that, man. It was like, yo, man, hop, man. Hop, there's only one hop, man. There's only one him and only, only one. One, one Hall of Famer, Big Hop, man. And there's only one place in the world, man, where – where you got thirty thousand at a uh, on a, at a college, yo. Even Madison Square Garden is nineteen five, yo. We get we get seventeen thousand during warm ups, Joe Joe. And even, yeah, come on, yeah, man. Facts. It's the dome, man. Come on, it's the dome, man. Different. You got different. a lot of Q's fans, man. It is different, it, man. It is. And we sell out. We we sell we we selling out Madison Square before the Knicks back then. For real, for real. Exactly. No, that's it, yo. But e, was it? Do you remember? Was this Joe? We played South Florida at South Florida. Yep, yep. Joe was there. That was Joe. Joe South, was there. Yeah, yeah that was my freshman year. We, yeah, we played at South Florida, and I remember you looking up. We in Florida, and it was more orange in the building. I'm like, yeah, yo, we in Florida. Yeah. That's crazy. Tampa. Yo. Shout out to the Q's faithful, everywhere, for real, man. Q's nation. Yeah, they everywhere, man. We love y'all, man. A lot of fans and the Q's and the, you know, the dome, man. Yo, bro. So, so, so you get the Q's. You know, hop, hop, crazy ass. Get you the Q's. Uh, I mean, his energy is like no other. We already know that. So, and, and then, bro. Coming out, I mean, you, you just talked about everything that was going on with you, you know, uh, possibly, you know, going to the NBA. You got all these, you know, colleges. You, you ranked, you know, one of the best players in the country. And then you coming into Q's that, you know, before you even get there, they saying you national freshman player of the year already. Like, so they, they already putting a lot of expectations on your shoulders, bro, that you, you coming in they and, and real shit, you getting, the, you getting the mellow shit. You know what I mean? I, I know you, you getting like, Hey, this, this is the one, this, the, you know, since mellow, the first guy that we had McDonald, all that. And and I don't know if it, it was McDonald's fault because I don't know if they could do it prep school or whatever. I, I think it was Jordan, some dumbass rule. Jordan classic. Yeah. You, yeah, he was in, he was in yeah. the Jordan, but you, I mean, you was in McDonald's All America, regardless of whatever the fuck the rules was. You was, you know, one of the best players in the country. <laughs> but, me, man. You know what I mean? But t- t- talk about, I guess, coming in, bro, with those expectations on your shoulders, because man, it, it, you just talked about, you know, ten years old, you 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 skipping school, you you get picked up, now you going to the Y. Like this, I don't think this is something that you had in your head that was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It was just like you put yourself in this position by, you know, uh, and, and a lot of people helped you put yourself in this position. But now that you're here, it could be a lot, man. So, so like, I guess talk about those expectations coming into Q's and, and you know, what was that like for you? Was, was it a lot to handle or, or, or how did you handle that? Yeah, I, I remember that. You're right. Uh, a lot of people don't even, don't even probably realize that, like you said. I was blue ribbon freshman of the year over the number one player in the country, Greg Oden and Kevin yeah. Durant. So they picked me to be Hell freshman yeah. of the year over those dudes. So it was definitely a, a lot of hype, a lot of expectation. I mean, I get the cue and I'm one person to eat. You'll never hear me really make too many excuses, man. I mean, I got there never. and I, I would say that I definitely didn't live up to my own expectation. You know what I'm saying? I definitely didn't, especially as a freshman. I mean, most freshmen probably will make all freshman team. It'll be okay. But for me, I was supposed to be freshman of the year. So, I mean, I get there. I would say that one of the biggest things that I really wasn't prepared for is I wasn't in shape. I wasn't in college shape. I remember I used to get tired a lot. Quick, I wasn't in college shape as a freshman. I wasn't all the way locked in. I mean, I was. I remember going home on certain days, rushing back. We got practice. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't all the way locked in and, and being right there how I know I should be. So looking back, no excuses, but I, I didn't. 
I wasn't always this always locked in, man. I wasn't. I wasn't. You didn't maximize what you should have been doing. Yeah, and it, and it really took. I mean, my sophomore year probably was my best year. I mean, uh, that to be honest with you, e, I think that's when you you had got hurt. You and Andy got hurt that year, yeah. and I had moved. I moved to the two. Coach put me at the two. And so I wasn't down low. I was playing like a, a almost like a natural position, two, three, getting getting run outs. You know, I had smaller guys on me because they had to put two guards on me now. And that was my best year when I made second team all Big East as a sophomore. And a lot of people was thinking like, yo, you should enter the draft after your sophomore year. You had a, a good year. But it was like, yo, man, we didn't make the tournament. I went to the NIT twice. I'm yeah. like, I ain't come to college to go to the NIT. Hell, I wanted to try to win the, win the championship. So that wasn't even a thought in my mind, trying to go to no league after no NIT. And then I come back my junior year. We we do well. I play okay. And I, end up, I end up leaving early. Some people say I should have stayed, but, you know, I don't live with no regrets. I did it. I made the best of it. We all left early. And we all left early at the same time. We you're all right, did. You're right. You're right. You're I'm, right. Th- I'm thinking, no, no, God damn, right. all my OGs is about here, man. I said, that E, you out? Paul, know, you gone too? What's going Johnny, you out? You, ah, shit. What's happening, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, what really what hurt me, though, E, is I look back, and it was one of my friends. It was Travis. So he ran down. He's a numbers guy. So he ran down these stats. He's like, yo, do you realize you had over 1,200 points, over 800 rebounds, and you didn't get invited to the combine? Like, That's I didn't crazy. get invited to the combine. He's like, you, you're not at, like, no mid-major school. He's exactly, like, yo, bro. that's crazy. He's like, yo, you did this in three years. You know, sometimes I'd be looking, I'd be like, like, you know, I didn't have – the best college career, but I be looking like, yo, I did have some type of numbers that some people don't even get yeah. four years, man. Bro, a you hell know? of a motherfucking career, just to be, just to be honest, I bro. I, it, it, I was looking that's at from the expectations the you put on yourself. Yeah, that's crazy. You're right, though. You're right, yeah, though. But, but you're I, right, I get what you're saying, though, because you expect so much from yourself, and then, but, I, and then, like, the expect expectations from the outside, like, they telling you you should do this and do that, <clears> and, and, not, and we lose sight of the shit that we really did, bro. Like you think about, I'm, and then and I'm I'm going to the six OT game. Motherfucker had twenty nine and twenty two. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 what you had twenty nine <laughs> and twenty two. Like like motherfuckers don't I have that. that type of shit. I missed a lot of layups. You, <laughs> hey, I mean, you, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's so funny? Bro, it Whatever was funny you had to do. I, I, yeah, I, I be I be hearing coach he, in that interview. He said Paul was smart enough to miss the dunk. And then get it back and get a three point play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, bro, hey, Paul, you, I, you had a hell of a career, dog. I mean, one of the. Come on, bro. For real. Hell of a career. And you, you, we spoke about impact and, and being able to help others. And you're doing that now with the kids and the community. But something that both of you guys did, but especially Paul just coming in and even showing me the way like probably giving me the blueprint on how to become a good college player so that when a guy like CJ fear came in, I'm telling him things that he thinks he's hearing from me for the first time. But what he's really hearing is Paul Harris. You know what I mean? Because these are things that you had told me that I'm able to now give to him. And that's what it is. It's just a trickle down effect. Like me and he love to speak about is just when you impact somebody in a positive way and you see that the shit makes sense, like two plus two is going to equal four. You have to give that on to the next guy because you want to see everybody be successful. That's one thing I say about you is, and it's not to say that I was coming for your spot because I not for one second believed that coming in as a freshman. I came in like, let me just go ahead and find my footing and see what's going on. I know Johnny. I know Paul. I know E. I, I, I've been watching the game long enough, and I'm just hoping that these are some good dudes and solid guys that's going to help me you know, spread my wings and become a, a good college basketball player. And you guys immediately did that. I mean, E, you were hurt, still coming off. But Paul in the summer, <clears throat> one-on-one-on-one, me, you, and Mookie Jones in the Dome, all the, those little things where I do <laughs> think for sure you were, you were you were trying to check my temperature, just trying to see what kind of heart I had, what kind of player I was. Because you got you to gotta figure it out early just to see, okay, what we got going on. Is this freshman going to be able to help us? 
Right, so that's Yo, the same shit we gotta be doing. Shit, we gotta be there at twelve thirty, man. Yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We in there. There's no one there except us. God damn. Hey, you know what I mean? So I, I appreciate all of that. <laughs> I think no, nah, no, nah, all love, Jojo, always. You know what's funny though? Know, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly who it was. Uh, uh, it was all the freshmen. Who was it? So it was Johnny. It was pouring raining. I'm talking about this. This crazy. So that's pouring. Johnny, Dante, Scoop, Rick. <laughs> yeah. So it was Johnny. So Johnny was my roommate. He knew at the time. I'm like, yo, we get. He like, all right, dude, whatever you want to do, I'm doing. So Johnny was in. <laughs> so now I, I go and I go and I knock on. Uh, I knock on uh, Sean Diddy. You know Diddy gonna do whatever. No matter. Oh. Uh, you talking whatever. about Sean Williams? So, Sean Williams. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> yep. So Diddy was in. I ain't worried about him. He was in. It's like two in the morning. It's pouring raining. So now I go get Tay. I'm like, yo, Tay, man. He like, dude, what's up? I'm like, yo, man, coach. Coach just hit me, man. He said, man, we gotta go run. He like, dude, what's what's going on? Man? I'm like, I'm like, nah, Tay, man, we got we got it. He like, yo, come on, keep it a hundred. I'm like, nah, Tay, man, I just want to get us ready for the season. He like, all right, Tay was in. All right, so now I go knock on Scoop. It's Scoop and Rick. They roommates. <laughs> oh man, I know Scoop coming, so I knock like yo Scoop, man. Coach, coach sent me. He like, Doug, I know, I know you're up to some of your game, but I'm coming. Now this was the hard one. I knew it. I knew Rick Jackson was gonna be the hardest one. <laughs> yo, look, I'm knocking on Rick room door. I'm like Rick, you like, who's, who's that? I'm like, yo, Rick, man, it's Doug, man. Dude, what's going on, Doug? It's two in the morning. I'm like, yo, man, just open up, man. It's just. He opened the door. He cracked the door. He didn't even open. He cracked it. I'm looking like, you got somebody in there or something, Rick? He's like, no, nah, what's going on? Like, Listen, Rick, man. Coach, coach, coach sent me. Doug, no, 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 no. I, I know you're doing your pulling your Doug stuff where you want us to do all this running and lifting. I'm like, nah, Rick, he sent us, man. He sent me where we got to go right. Doug, I, I, I ain't doing that. I'm like, nah, Rick, please, man. We need it. We need you to do it. Then Rick ended up coming. So we all go to the football field in the rain. I mean, it's pouring rain at 2 in the morning. And we just out there running hunted, screaming, Georgetown, Louisville. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we coming this year, yo. It was just like, yo. I was like, yo, I, I was yeah, trying to just, like, just get everybody motivated and ready, though, yo. Yep. <laughs> but Rick, yep. Rick, Rick no, was that's the hard funny. one, though, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, you on some bullshit, cuz. <laughs> yeah, you know, right, right. You, no, you, what do you say? You draw, what do you say? You drawing. That's the you drawing. drawing. You drawing. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You draw right now. That's yeah, funny. Yo, that's yo, funny. That's, yo, look, that's look, classic look, fall, look man. This, this story, real quick, because both y'all was it, it was in Kansas City. This was a, this was another one. This is the funniest shit, bro. This is the funniest shit ever. You, this is our man Swirls, man. This is in in, in Kansas yeah, City. It was can, Kansas Swirl City. Still, we, is he still in the queues? He yes, sir. Like yep. like this, uh, motherfucker. Still holding on to like, gear. Like, still uh, holding on to gear too. Yeah. He, he like this with his phone. Man. He, he still got my headband, Swirls. <laughs> He gave me one headband a year, man. Knowing I throw it away, throw it away. <laughs> stands every game, man. Paul, I keep telling you, Paul, you can't throw your headband every game. <laughs> yo, no, go ahead. East so, Kansas City? Where, you, where we at? Kansas Kansas City, yo. So we 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 end up we win in that tournament. We won the tournament, but uh we in the hallway, bro. It got to be about six of us in the hallway, just sitting in the hallway, yo. This, and I'm I'm walking out. I'm like, yo, what's, what's going on, man? He's like, man, I think they said, man, uh, Dugan, he, he in the room. He in the room. I said, whose room is it? He said, it's it's Swirls. <laughs> I said, how the, fuck, how the fuck he get in there? Like, how the fuck he get in there? Get in the room. Man, they talking about, man, that motherfucker that went down to the desk and got the key. It, it went in there and hid in the, he hiding in the shower or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so like Dan in the off. room, though. Oh, man. Dog, Dan in the room. And if you know Dan, this motherfucker, like, you know, bro, he, you don't really see Dan, like, you know, outside of, like, if he not doing, like, the, the clothes and shit. Man, dog, yeah. when I tell you this, this motherfucker came out, this motherfucker Swirls came out of the room with no shoes on, and, and he had like, <laughs> yo, we looking at, I'm looking at, I, this is, this is just what I remember, bro. And man, this motherfucking squirrel had the worst feet of all time, dog. 
I'm talking. I'm talking about, bro. This motherfucker ain't clip his toenails in years, bro. And forever. And and then oh, this motherfucker man. open the open the door. He looking at us. What are you, What are you guys doing? What are you guys? Meanwhile, this motherfucker Paul in the shower behind behind. He, he, this motherfucker ain't even know, man. This motherfucker, yo. That's hilarious. Yo, Pete, I, I tell you what, Pete. Oh, Pete. Yo, it was P. I remember coming out of the one time with me and P. Mike Williams. We we go to the bank to cash the check. Yo, this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker, Dude, Mike and P. Could come out of the bank with with a big ass bag, oh, yo. like a big ass bag with the money sign on it, like 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 they just like a, like a, a monopoly, like a, like a a monopoly monopoly bag. <laughs> yo, bro, it's all ones, bro. It's all ones from the from the from the. Uh, yo, bro, this motherfucker P. The one of the funniest. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was the fact they gave us like a it was like a thousand like fifteen hundred and I asked him for all in all ones, yo. Oh, yeah, yo, e, yo, e, look at him, yo, we out. E, e, e put his hand <laughs> in the bag like no. I'm like, yo, e, stop, man. This is this is really my money. E, this is really mine. <laughs> yo, but so, you know what? So real quick, you know oh, what? Go Joe, ahead. Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> so look, how Q's is, is the only school. That I ever wanted to go to. Now, Ohio State, Ohio State, they were trying to, you remember the Fab Five from Michigan, uh, Juwan Howard, Chris mm-hmm. Weber, you know, yeah. some Jalen Rose. Ohio State was trying to recreate the Fab Five. Mike Odin, Mike Conley, Daquan yep. Cook, Daquan Cook. Cook. Lighty. They were oh, those yeah. four. And I was going to be the fifth one, Paul Harris. So, Fat Mata, he comes, they fly to Buffalo. Fly the plane. I don't show up. I don't, sh- I don't even show up. I didn't come. Because I was telling you, I know I ain't want nobody to influence me yeah, to be going nowhere else. You. I ain't even exactly. show up. Yep, I ain't want it. So, I didn't show up. And remember, Ohio State ended up going to the championship that year. Yeah. Ohio State versus Florida. Lost to Florida. Yeah. They lost to Florida in the chip. But mm-hmm. if I can do it all over again, I'm going to the Cuse again. Because that's just how I am. The people I met, the memories I have, the stories, all of that. I'm going to the Cuse, man. I don't care what nobody oh, yeah. say, no matter what. There's no place like the Dome, yo. Ain't that's no place, man. Say. Ain't no place like the nothing, Dome, Nothing man. like it. You get in there, nothing man. Nothing like it. Nothing like you the see that support. Yeah, you see that sea. You see that sea of orange in the in the back, man. Ain't no, ain't no place like that, man. Nothing, yeah. man. And, I, and uh, on my visit, my fact. visit sold me. It was it was G Mac, G Mac Senior Night. So he had like forty buses from Scranton. Like he had a whole section. He might have had like Villanova. Three, Villanova. Randy Ford. Yeah. Them. Yep. You're like, yo, this is crazy. Thirty some thousand. Come on, man. I'm here. Where do I sign up? I'm here, man. <laughs> yo. So I want to ask you this. Now that you um, you know, are, are are coaching you on the AAU scene, right? So for me personally, maybe the same for you guys. As I'm going through the process as a high school athlete, like I'm living in my moment. So I'm not really even noticing or thinking about how difficult it may be to obtain a, a full ride to full athletic scholarship to any university, regardless if it's high, mid, low. But this is my life at the moment. So I'm getting letters. I'm getting uh, scholarship offers. And I'm thinking that's the norm, right? Because it's happening to me. You know, I had a guy, Rodney Magruder, who ended up playing in the league. It's happening for him. So I'm thinking, oh, shit, this must just be what happens when you're a good basketball player, like this is normal. A couple other guys went low, maybe high D2s, didn't have the grades to go D1. Something that's normal up until I started coaching AAU two summers ago. And we're at the Pittsburgh Jam Fest, you know, hoop group tournament. And um, I'm realizing how many teams it is, how many players per team, all fighting for one or two scholarships available. You know what I mean? And how do you relay that message to kids where it's about a, as a senior, as a high school senior, it's probably less than a 1% chance that you're going to go on and play division one ball. Mm-hmm. And that's any, that's any level high, mid, low, right? Less than 1%, mm-hmm. maybe one. Right. So how do you relay that message or how is it that you keep these kids? Cause obviously they know your story. They know what you've done. 
how do you keep them grounded and just keep them, you know, make sure that they keep the main thing, the main thing. I mean, for me, and you're right, Jojo, I think it's a uh, 0.4% chance. I think I think those were the numbers. And I tell them these numbers all the time. That's what I let them know. I'm like, listen, and it's even getting harder. You know why it's getting harder? Because you have all of these kids from overseas and France and Italy that's yeah, coming over here. That's, exactly. getting, that's getting drafted. It's getting even harder. So I let them know one thing. Stuck, I was stuck in my head when Michael Jordan said at the Jordan Classic. He said, you get out what you put in. You put the work in, the results will show. You may not get a scholarship, but you will see the result. You'll start seeing that you're getting a little bit better. You'll see. You'll start seeing it. So, I mean, I don't know the answer. That's cool. But I know the answer to give yourself a chance, and you got to make sacrifices. Yep. You got to make yeah. sacrifices. If you want to just give yourself a chance, a chance, you got to be working out three, four, five times a week. And that's why some people be like, yo, mm-hmm. boy, uh, I got a message like, hey, man, I, I want you to train train my kid uh, once a week. I'll pay you this much. I'm like, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry. I can't really do that. They're like, man, this is, you know, this is a lot of, this is a lot of money. I'm like, first of all, money never made me. So it ain't about the money, but I'm not going to let you feel like you can work out with me once a week and go tell people I train with Paul Harris once a week, not going to cut it. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Right. And ain't going to cut it. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to steer you that way. No, if we're going to do this. If you really want to do this, this is what it takes. This is how we're going to do it. Even on your day off, on your day off is still work. Meaning like a day off now is a recovery day. Let's get in the pool, yep. walk in the pool, 20 minutes, stretching. This stuff all matters, and they not being yep. taught this. So that's why I'm trying to give these to these kids. Like, I come in there, and I'm making them the electrolyte drinks before every game, the whole team. So I'm giving them the drinks, the superior drinks uh, that have no sugar, all the electrolytes, the vitamins, the minerals you need, and you see the difference. So you can, when, when this team plays – our AU team, you can see the difference, yo. Like, we just played a tournament. We played against a uh, team from New Jersey, NJ Scholars. We played with five players. Five players. Mason, Darius, Benji, Bruce. Five players the whole game, and we pressed the whole game. So the conditioning that these kids are in, it's like, yo, you're giving yourself a chance, man. Giving yourself a chance, yo. That's all it is, man. You want to have a chance. Yo, Pete, what, what, uh, because I think for real, you got one of the best stories, bro. Just like, you know, and again, everybody got their story, but just like what you, what you overcame, you know, you know, everything that you went through to be able to make it into a success and to be able to give it back, to be able to share your story, to help it impact other people. And, and you always had that in you, like like we talked about you you knocking on people's doors as freshmen, just and that wasn't you being like yeah yeah yeah. I know everybody got a little goofiness in or whatever, but that was, you on some real shit. That was really you like motivating people. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 how you did it. You know what I'm saying? So like you were born with that in you, but I guess when did it for you like really click in your head like? Yo, like this is this is what I need to be doing for people. I, I need to be telling people and impacting people on this level because one, I'm great at it, and two, they listen to me because I because I have I, you have that influence over people. Like like shit j- to get those motherfuckers in college to be able to get up at two a.m. and and go run on that field, bro. It, it's something in your words. It, it, it's something in your in your presence. You know what I'm saying? That, that people feel it. You know what I mean? To where like, all right, he real about this shit. Like I. I you know, and, and they, you know what I mean? Like they feel that, that I guess it's like an aura almost that that you got. So yeah. when did that click, when did that click for you, bro? To be like, man, this is, this is what I need to be doing, man. This is, this is how I need to be impacting people and helping people. <laughs> to be honest with you, e, I would say like, uh, like my grandmother, my mom, like they, they always was like people that, that care for others, man. That always that's just been a, been a nature of mine, man. Like I can't I can't have a dollar and we go in the store together as a kid and my friend. I gotta at least give you a quarter, man. Come, you get some chips, something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't come. I'm not about to be eating in your face. I I, I can't do that. I never I never did that. 
So that's just like my high school team. I knew that we're going to play an independent schedule. So we played against all of these ranked teams, like the Vashon and number one team. So oh my dad, nobody on my high school team ever 30 points in my two years at Niagara Falls. Think about that. We Nobody ever scored 30 points, and from a public school, we have seven guys go Division One and three guys play professional. And my dad, he used to get mad. He used to be like, son, listen, I want you to get 50 one game. One game, Digger, you got to get 50 one game. I'm like, daddy, listen. He's like, I don't want to hear that. I know that, all that nice stuff. I'm like, daddy, wait, just chill. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I'm like, listen, we're going to leave a legacy, daddy. Watch, man. I'm like, yo, I need everybody. We ain't going to be able to win no state and federation if I'm out here getting 40. Some of these guys, they ain't going to play hard on D. And we're going to make exactly. one lose one of these big games. I'm like, yo, dad, it's all right. So it's like sometimes I passed up certain shots, made sure everybody eat, always, always checking the temperature of the team, like just learning, learning how – how you motivate certain people on your team, man. Like I, I just learned it at a, at a young age, man. E, I just, I, I just learned it. And that's just, when you real with something, people going to know, people going to know oh, when yeah, it's fake no or question. real, man. They're going to they gonna know. And when they, when they snip it out, when they snip it out and it's fake, they're going to turn the other way, man. But if it's real and it's authentic, they're going to be like, all right, yo, what we got to do? They're going to be with it. So I always try to be real and just be myself, man. That's a fact. You got one of the biggest hearts, bro. I swear on everything. Even if it was like, I'll, I'll go back to the game. We watching the Pistons and LeBron. The motherfucker go up for the game winning shot. This motherfucker P be like, oh, boy, and turn the motherfucker TV off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, bro. Man, Yo, wait, 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 wait. Were you, was you at Jake House when we watched it, uh, Kansas, Mario Chalmers shot? Was one of y'all there? I wasn't that at no, that one, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, I end up getting Jake more control too, man. So so we didn't see it. It was like it probably was like Jake, Johnny, probably Kip. I don't know who it was, but we never seen Mario Chalmers shot live, I tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. It's, it's it's funny how the story with with you know what I'm saying, a team or a, a teammate in, in one year, a couple months, man, it's crazy. It's a little random shit like Paul. We, you know, Goldstein had the, was right there. We lived on Winding. I remember this one time, Paul, you had like the, the what was it, like a golden or brown SUV, if I'm not mistaken, something like that my freshman year. You had an SUV. And Paul, go, I brought, at this point, I never drove before. Never. Right? Uh, and, and you probably know after I hit that parked car and shit in the parking lot. So you know I so you, I never drove, but here go Paul. Like, come with me real quick. He went to Goldstein, got him something to eat. We have practice at the Dome at this point. And, you know, it's cool if you're going to Manly. I could kind of manage, bro. That's not really you. Really Manly right there once you get through the gates. We go into the Dome. Paul say, yo, could you drive? I said, bro, I don't know how to drive, bro. I can't drive. He's like, no, no, it's cool. <laughs> he tell me it's cool. I'm like, all right, bet. So he's there eating. I'm, I'm stressing the and fog is all on the mirror, windows and shit. I can't see out. I'm fucking squirting. Paul, he, he, he's helping me drive from the passenger seat. I'm like, yeah, this is all crazy. I guess what? We go home in one piece. We made it there, parked up, had a great practice. You know what I'm saying? Just little things like that that stick in my mind, bro, that I, I, I that I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, all these years later because it just it's something that's going to live with me forever. You know what I mean? Yo, but you know what's crazy, you know, uh, he, out of everybody, yo, people ask me about, about you and Johnny so much, E, man. I'm talking about, like, yo, when they, when they mention the Qs, I be, because I'm up here in Connecticut. So all the UConn fans, they got the UConn shirts on, you know what I'm saying? I be in certain gyms, and they just start talking about UConn, and we end up, we end up getting the basketball, and, and we end up getting to the sixth overtime game, and they mention Flynn. And they mentioned Demon Dove, yo. So, I, E, man, they, they, they love you, E. And I'll tell you one thing. If they had, if we had the NILs, E, e, e you would have had to get paid. They'd have to pay you, E, man. E would have had, oh, had to drop it on you, E. I'm salty. I'm salty <laughs> right now, E. They'd have to drop it on you, E, man. Huh? 
I'm salty. I'm no, salty. No, no, but you know what? You paved the way, man. We paved the way, man. We paved the way, man. That's that's what it is. It is what it is. Now we're gonna help some some young guy out. You gonna you gonna show him how to how to how to manage their social media, like what not to all of that stuff, Matt. You know what I'm saying? You you paving the way, man. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. It'll come back when it's if it's for you, it's gonna be for you, man. Man, that's a that's fact, real, bro. That, that, that's a fact. Hey, man, we had so many unbelievably so many great memories yo and and just to be able i mean i we, we can't we can't stay on the whole time but and uh and we gonna let you get up out of here because i know you're in the lowest parking lot and motherfuckers looking at you like yeah this motherfucker <laughs> yo, no, but you know it's crazy nobody nobody i'm way in the corner i'm looking i'm way in the corner nah, nobody ain't nobody ain't checking me out <laughs> nah, P, yo, P, like look, for real, man. So many great memories, and and just like what you doing with the kids, bro, and in the community. Because I don't care what nobody else doing. I, I think that's the best and most important work in the world, dog. Like working, being able to work with the kids, and like being able to make an impact with people on that level. Because I mean, now more than ever, bro, people are struggling, bro, mentally. It just just trying to navigate their own lives. So like it's super important to have people to support you, bro, and, and, and point you in the right direction and, and, and just remind you of that. Like, yo, you doing a good job, man. Like, like, just stay on it. Like, you, you got people who care about you. You got people who support you. And, and, and I'm going to be here for you. And, and so, I, I, I like, you said you giving us our flowers. Uh, man, bro, I'm giving you your flowers times 10, times 20, times 30 because, bro, real shit. That is the most important work in the world, and, and you make it an impact um, on so many levels, dog. So, so I appreciate you. I know everybody, you know who you're doing it for, appreciate you. And, and and before we get off, bro, I want you to tell everybody on the show what you got going on. If you got, if you, I know you, uh, you know you 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 selling your drinks or, or whatever you got going exactly. on, bro. Shout it out. Yeah, yeah, website. It what, yeah, anything, yep. bro. This your little. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to do right now. But you, you know what? E? I ain't, I ain't even come on here for none of that, man. I I told you, I told y'all that I was gonna do this. We the days kept getting whatever, and I'm on here. I I came on here for y'all, man. And before we go, I want to say something to both of y'all. Say to you, JoJo, man. Listen, I want you to know, man. I really I watched you as a young player, yo. And you was one of those one of those guys. You and Scoop. Both of you guys, one of those guys who, who I say really took a lot of advice from me. You know what I'm saying? Who really was like, yo, yo I, I respect what Duga is saying, how he's doing it. I really seeing you grow and to see you come into your senior year and had a year that you had, man, and go to the league and then have a couple battles against you overseas, man. Yep. I really love you, JoJo, and I want you to know, man. Love you too. I mean it. I'm really, really, I'm really proud of you, man. I love you, man. And E, love you, too, you bro. I don't know if a lot of people understand and realize this, E. There's not too many people out here that's gym rats. There's not too many that's that's like yo, gym rats. E, I swear, man. Like I can't, I can't say I'm above you with that. You one of those dudes, E, I see, like, yo, you lived in there, E. You lived in the lab. So when you took 15, 20 shots, looking back, like, you worked for that, yo. I get it. I really get it. Like, you lived in there, E. You really shot thousands of shots, yo. I swear, I promise you. I seen you do it, man. And I want to tell you, I admire your work ethic. Getting older now and seeing and understanding now, because I really, I, I worked hard, but I really worked crazy hard overseas. Like overseas, Paul Harris versus Syracuse, it's two different players. I'm mentally better. I don't have right. no distractions. Yep. I was like, people don't even understand how I was killing over there, uh, JoJo. They don't know the scout report, know. JoJo, where they, they say, yo, this dude is <laughs> he's shooting 45% from three. We got to run them off. Yep. People in Cuse were like, what? Yep. They don't know the work. Yep. But E, I just want to tell you that, man. I love that E, man. I love y'all, man. I love what y'all doing. Keep doing what y'all doing in the community. And all the Q's fans, man. I love y'all. Q's, no fans better in the world than the Q's fans. 100%. Man, bro, we love you, bro, for real. Like, we we plan on having you come on again and just, you know, doing what we 